Hey guys, good morning. That's Marie just stopping by to say a quick hello. I know it's hard now, everybody's stressed. There's so much going on, COVID, inflation, prices are high. I just want to encourage you to just keep the faith and do check on each other. Call on your friends and family, find out how they're doing. And when you call or speak to them in person and ask how you're doing, make sure you're prepared to listen. Make sure you're prepared to listen to that answer. I remember one time I was at work and my coworker was passing by and she said, hey Marie, how are you? And I said, oh, I have this terrible headache. I was having such a bad headache that time. And she said, oh, that's good. And she breathes past and I stopped. I'm like, did she just say that's good? And I called her name and she stopped. And I said, I said, I'm having a bad headache. And she was like, oh my God, Marie, I'm so tired. I was so distracted. But, um, and I said, it's okay. You know, we are all busy. There was a, we were working in the emergency room, so it's all busy. But whenever you ask someone a question, be prepared for the answer. Recently, I was walking into Walgreens and there was a young girl outside the store. And as always, I, you know, how are you doing? And she said, I'm fine. You know, I smiled, she smiled and I kept going. I was in the store and then all of a sudden I just stopped. She can't be fine. She's in front of the store and she was sitting on top of the garbage bin. She looks like about 15 years old. But I couldn't walk back out right then because I had stuff in my hands. I'm like, okay, I'm praying that she's there when I get back outside because something had to be wrong. So I walked back out of the store and she was still sitting there. And I said, are you okay? She says, yes. I'm like, no, you're not. Why are you sitting on top of the garbage bin? And she started to cry. And I said, get down from there, what's going on? And she explained she had come to the store to buy something and her card wouldn't work. I don't know if it was for lack of funds or whatever it is. I said, okay, come, let's go back in and get what you need. And she said, are you sure? You know, if you give me $5, I mean, that would be fine. But I'm like, does it cost $5? She says, no, it's more than $5. I'm like, okay, let's go back in, go and get what you need and I'll pay for it. And again, she said, are you sure? I'm like, yes, I'm sure. And I waited for her by the cashier. She went, got what she wanted. You know, the cashier was very um, complimentary of me, but that's not anything special. We were supposed to be helping each other. So I helped her, she got what she needed and she jumped on her, she was on a rollerblades. No, it's not rollerblades, one of those skateboards. Young, vivacious little girl, just needed a hand that day. And I was so glad I was there to help her. So just reach out to each other, help each other. Sometimes it's not money. You know, people just, sometimes just want a shoulder. Sometimes you don't even have to say anything, you know, just listen. So, you know, reach out to your friends and family, check out your loved ones and each other. And when you ask a question, be prepared to listen and give a compliment. You're passing a stranger in the store, say, give a compliment. This morning I was in Burlington. There was this nice young man sitting on the bench. I'm sure he was waiting for his wife or somebody shopping. And he was nice, got a nice beard. And I said, oh my gosh, I love your beard. And I just feel like I want to touch it. And he just laughed and said, <laughs> and said I'm like, okay, but I'm afraid you may attack me. And he says, oh no, I won't attack you. But of course I wasn't going to touch his beard. So I was standing there looking at shoes and he was still there. And this lovely young lady came back and she was talking to him. And I told her what I said to him and, she's, and she laughed. And I said, you know, but I'm afraid I would get attacked. And she was like, no man, I wouldn't attack you. But you know, I love to see people take care of themselves. He was sitting there and he looked so nice. I'm not a beard person, but he was nicely groomed and I had just had to compliment him. So encourage each other. Don't be afraid to give compliments. Even if it's a, to a total stranger, you don't know what that person may be going through and how that will brighten their day. Walk with me from stock to limitless. Have a good day.